God in praise, amen, this Tuesday night, amen, what, September the 27th, uh, the 20 and 22nd year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God tonight for truly being wonderful, amazing, and so kind unto us. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all. We thank you, God, for truly being our God, for being the creator and the maker of all things. We thank you, God, for uh, who you are in our lives, our Father. We thank you that you are our deliverer, our comfort, our all in all, our everything. Now, God, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, by whom we receive salvation. We thank you also for the gift of your Holy Spirit, that the God leads and instructs us in the way of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, God, by that spirit, God, we're asking now that you would grant unto us tonight your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your power, your might, your counsel. Let the anointing of the living Lord not only fall afresh, but come on in, God, and occupy us, God. Have thine way. Now, God, I pray um, for your people, God. Hey, glory be to God for all of us, God, that, that you will continue to be the, the light of our eyes, the apple of our eye, God. We pray that we will be submissive and obedient to your word, your will, and your way. We love you, God. We appreciate you, and we thank you. For us in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of your son, Jesus, we do pray this prayer that the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. Can we just give God a praise, amen, because he's worthy, Woo! amen. He is worthy. <coughs> Glory be to God. He is worthy. And, and I thank him, amen, to each and every day, amen. He's showing himself to be who he is, God, amen. In spite of, in the midst of, and regardless of, he's always true and faithful unto what? Us, his people, and unto what? His word, amen. So we thank God and we bless his wonderful name tonight. Amen. Tonight, we will begin in the, we are still in the book of Proverbs, amen. Tonight, we'll start in the 29th chapter of, of Proverbs. Proverbs, the 29th chapter, amen. Glory be to God. As I say always, Proverbs is a book of wisdom, but it's also a, a, a book of, of practical living for us as as the saints of God, amen. And if we just apply the word, amen, it, it'll do the work, amen, yes, but, but, but it has to be applied, amen. Well, in Proverbs, the 29th chapter, beginning in verse 1, the right, glory, have mercy. It's 27, let me say, there's 27 verses in this uh, this chapter, amen. We're going to at least tonight uh, try to get down to verse number 16, amen. 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 All right, in Proverbs, the 29th chapter, in verse number 1, the writer says this. He said, he that being often reproved, harden his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed in that without remedy. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Uh, he that being often reproved harden his neck. In other words, a person who is being uh, rebuked. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Oh, that is being often rebuked. Amen. Hardens his neck. In other words, uh, uh, he doesn't accept the word of God no matter what it is. He, mm -hmm. he, he has a tendency to have this um, stubborn attitude and, and resists and disobeys God, that that type of individual, that type of person, amen, will find him help, himself sooner or later, what, being destroyed. And it's going to come up on him suddenly simply because, Jesus. what, he has resisted the word of God. He's resisted righteousness. He's had this attitude that, that, that he could just obey, disobey God when he feels like it, amen. So, so this type of person will find that the hand of God is still going to move whether he wants it to or not. Jesus. Amen. And it's going to be suddenly. And say this proverb speaks about the man who is often rebuked but doesn't listen to the rebuke. Amen. Doesn't, doesn't listen to the reproof. And instead of listening, he just hardens his heart. He stiffens his heart. He has a, Somebody say he has a hard neck. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a stiff neck, stubborn person. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. And it said, will suddenly be destroyed. This, this stubborn, rebellious man continues in his disobedience for a long time until he is suddenly what? Destroyed. And there will be no hope for him, meaning uh, that without remedy. It, it, it'll be too late. When, when you destroy it, when it's over, it's, it, it, it's too late. Glory. Have mercy. It's too late to repent. It's too late to, re to receive what? The, the correctioning. Amen. Glory be to God. So, so tell somebody, don't be found in that predicament. Oh, Amen. Uh, this is right, the kind of person who thinks little of God's merciful patience and assumes judgment would never come for his continual rejection oh, of wisdom Jesus. and stubborn heart against God. 
That's what it's talking about in Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse 1. In Proverbs 29 and 2, amen, <clears throat> the Bible says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it, rule, the people mourn. That's simple, amen, glory be to God. Amen. Because the righteous person is not going to be about themselves. They should be should about be. what? The community, All about right. people as a whole, amen, glory amen. But on the other hand, amen, the wicked is always consumed by what? Their own Desire. thoughts, their own desires, their own wants. Everything is about them, amen. So so when the when the writer says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice because why a righteous man and righteous woman are going to do are, are, are going to do what's right, what according to the word of God. Amen. Jesus. They're gonna have the people's interest and not their own. Amen. So the people will rejoice because somebody is looking out for what? They're good. Amen. It said, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Simply called when the when the wicked is uh, uh, in rule, they, they, they want everything to be about them. Amen. You the last thing on their mind. Glory. Hell mercy. It say the community or the nation suffers when the wicked rule. Lawlessness increases and freedoms diminish. It said the rule of the wicked is bad for both the righteous and the wicked in the community or nation. Amen. So, so somebody say, even when you begin to, to think about voting, amen, tell somebody, say, pray about it. Pray about amen. it. Get on your knees. Seek God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, glory. Have mercy. And after you seek God and, 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 and uh, um, people are elective, amen, so you, you, you need to continue pray. what? To, to pray, pray for them. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Pray for them. Amen. If they, if they ain't talking about being saved, ain't in nobody church, you ought to show sure enough be praying for them. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Because whether uh, uh, it doesn't matter where you are, uh, what authority you carry. Amen. Uh, uh, grace is still sufficient. Amen. And, 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 and God's grace. Amen. So, so we got to pray. Tell them what we got. Even if you don't agree with them, you still should be what? Praying, praying for them. Amen. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But he that keepeth the company with harlots spendeth his substance. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. The, the, the book of Proverbs has talked about this in, in other parts of the book of Proverbs. And, and it's talking about how uh, children who are obedient, who, uh, who love and seek out the wisdom. Amen. They, they look here. Don't, 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 don't Lord Jesus. Amen. A child that does that is pleasing to their parents. Amen. Watch this. I don't even care if the parents are foolish. If they got children that are doing the right thing and, oh and seeking God. out yes, the righteousness yes. and, and holiness and doing yes. that which is right before God, that parent is happy. Hey, hey, yeah. glory. Help mercy. Why? Children of any age bring happiness to their parents when they love and live wisdom. Amen. It gives the parents a justifiable pride in their children and give peace about their what? Children's future. If yes. I know you're doing right, you serving God, you out the righteousness. Hey, look here. Uh, just the other day, me and my son was talking. Amen. And one thing I said to him, I said, I need to know that when I leave, you all right. Amen. Amen. In other words, I need to know that you're going to be a, a righteous man. I need to know that you're going to be a holy man. I need to know that you're going to be a man that's going to trust God, a man that's going to build your relationship, not around people. But around the things of God, amen. amen. Around the word of God, amen. If you want to give me some assurance, amen, don't do it while I'm gone. Start doing it now so I know you'll do it when I leave. Uh oh, glory. I believe that'll preach right yeah, there. Hey, yeah, glory oh be to God. God, amen. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth uh, his father. It's, we talking about the parents when we say their father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. Amen. Now, come on now. Everybody know. We, we, we Look here, grown folks. Amen. Y'all know a uh, uh, harlot ain't a good thing. You know what a harlot represents? Oh my God. Uh, prostitution. Uh, selling yourself. Hey, glory. Have mercy. Amen. So therefore, if, if a child hangs out with that type of character, Amen. I'm I'm talking about you know that character just that's always taking the shortcuts. That that character is always doing the, the wrong thing. Hey, glory. That, that's what they're talking about. Talking about you you would rather spend your substance. You would really you would rather spend your 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 character 
on, on, on things that are not about God. Mm. Glory, have mercy. So, so it says, uh, don't think that, that your mom and dad are going to be ha happy because you. Put the right. That's me as a parent. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. On, on that note, amen, uh, uh, one of the, the scholars uh, said this about it, the scholar Clark, <laughs> and I like it. He, he, he just said, he asked a simple question regarding Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number three. He said, has there ever been a single case to the contrary? <laughs> <laughs> has there ever been? by judgment established the land, but he that received the gifts overthrow it. Oh, glory to have mercy. This verse is when you look at the aspect of, of what a king back in the day represented. Amen. Uh, his, his first notion is what he was supposed to be representing what? God. Amen. He was supposed to be getting his, his orders from God. And, and when the king uh, seeks God and God is first with him. Amen. Uh, uh, his By judgment, uh, uh, it says, the king by judgment established what? The land. Because if he's doing the right thing in God, amen, somebody said that, that judgment is going to be true. Amen. Yeah. He's going to be about uh, the people. He's going to be about doing what's best for them. Amen. Glory. So many. And he establishes that by what? By justice, by, by the truth. Amen. A nation can only expect strength and progress when it is ruled with justice. When a, when a community or a nation sees evildoers punished and restrained, fairness in the legal system, and agreements honor, there will be justice and a foundation for growing and blessing. Amen. But when it's the other way around, but he that receives it gifts overthrow it. In other words, a person who takes bribe. Amen. A person who takes bribes, amen, he, he, he throws the judicial system out of whack. Mm. Why? Because everything becomes about him. Amen. There are many ways that justice can be abused, but this is one of the worst ways is when somebody accepts bribes. Bribes destroy the foundation of fairness and equality before the law. It means that the rich and devious prosper. Glory, have mercy. And with that being said, amen. Tell somebody, say, God's paying attention. Amen. Oh if you're in office and you uh, uh, hold a, a, push, a position of authority, uh, God is going to count you, uh, going to hold you more accountable than anything else. Amen. Uh, the scholar Bridges simply said this. He said, the best laws of, are of little use when they are badly administered. Uh, partiality and injustice make them null, null and void. Mm -hmm. And yet it requires great integrity and more courage to withstand the temptations of worldly policy and self-interest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say, if you're going to hold a position of authority, do it in God. Amen. Because if you do it in God, somebody say, you'll do it right. Jesus. Amen. That's Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number 4. In Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number five, the writer said, a man that flattered his neighbor uh, spreaded a net for his feet. Amen. Jesus. When I first read that, it sounded like he's talking about the neighbor's feet. Amen. But he's uh, really talking about his own, his own feet. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Because a man who flatters his neighbor in this sense, to flatter is to excessively praise or give attention to a neighbor with the hope of gaining influence or status. Uh -oh. Amen. So therefore, you better watch folk what, who, who are, are, are flattering you with their, their words, you know, with their lips. Amen. Tell somebody, say, if they flatter you too much, they probably after something. Cheat. Right, Amen. They're right. they trying to influence you to do something for them or a hope of gaining uh, some kind of status with you or whatever. So, so just be careful. But this says a man that flattered his neighbor. Amen. 
in the aspect that the neighbor is a is a wise neighbor. Amen. So if he's a wise and, and righteous neighbor, tell somebody he, he's already been tuned in to what's what going on. So therefore, even the net that's been cast for him, well, he, he, he won't run into it. Amen. The pit that's been digged for him because he's righteous and full of wisdom. Somebody say he won't fall into it. So therefore, that net, that, that pit that's been digged, no. Dug, dig, dug, whatever, amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying. That particular net or that particular uh, uh, pit, amen, it spread a net for what? The flatterer's feet, mm -hmm. amen, and not the neighbor because the neighbor is operating what? In wisdom. Okay. Tell, tell somebody, as a born-again Christian, yes, amen, born -again Christian. Uh, we're not saying that you're going to have all the wisdom in the world, but tell somebody we're going to have God's wisdom, amen. amen, and as long as we operate in that, that that we don't know, God is obligated what? To show yes, it to us, amen, but we got to stay in the word of God, amen, 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 glory to hammers, that's Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse 5, Proverbs 29 and 6, it say, in the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare, but the righteous does sing and rejoice. Hey, uh, by transgression, <laughs> an evil man is snared. A man may be evil in his character, yet it is his actual acts of transgression that ruin him. Uh-oh, glory, have mercy. He may have a, uh, uh, but he is no different than us in the aspect of, uh, uh, watch this here. Sin is, is everybody is surrounded with sin. You know what I'm saying? And you have what? A, a, a will on whether or not you will participate or not participate. Mm -hmm. So it is with the evil man, but the difference between him and you is that, tell somebody, say, you're going to be obedient to the word of God. You better be obedient to the Glory word of God. Glory to mercy. And, and, and the evil man just going to do what? What's already in him to do. Amen. Uh, uh, it said an evil man, a man may be evil in his character, Yet it, it is his actual acts of transgression, the doing of it, that, that ruin him. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Tell somebody that, that can go for the righteous too. Hey, glory. Amen. Have mercy. Amen. It, it, you know, in your mind, you can repent for the, the thought. Amen. But when you carry the thought out, tell somebody that, that, oh, that goes a little deeper. Amen. It said, in the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Uh, uh. Uh, and that's the snare that he 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 will snare himself simply by the act that he carries out. He said, "But the righteous does sing and rejoice." And why does the righteous sing and in and in, in rejoice? Well, if the transgression belongs to the evil man, then singing and rejoicing belong, belongs to who? The righteous man. Yeah, glory, hell, mercy. The singing and rejoicing are an expression of what is inside you. Just as much as the transgression is an expression of what's inside the yeah. evil man. Amen. Tell somebody every now and then we ought to hear you sing. Hey, glory. Yeah. Help me. Every now and then we ought to see a little joy in your life. Every now and then tell somebody you ought to get your praise on. Every now and then. Yeah, glory be to God. That's Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number six. In Proverbs 29, um, 29th chapter, verse 7, the Bible says, The righteous consider it the cause of the poor, mm -hmm. but the wicked regard it not to know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Act like it ain't there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Glory. Mm -hmm. The righteous considers the cause of the poor. Uh, one of the marks of a righteous man or a righteous woman is simply the fact that they care about what? The poor. They, 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 they care about uh, people in general. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. If, if you just... Uh, 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 wondering about somebody's character, just see how they, they treat people. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Because the way they treat people, especially poor people, amen, is a sign of, of, of what their character what is all about. Amen. You being the righteousness of Christ, the, the holiness of Christ Jesus on this earth, amen. Glory. Tell somebody, you ought to do something for somebody every now and, and then. Amen. I ain't talking about somebody that you know. Amen. So, somebody that you don't know. You ought to be a blessing to them in, in some um, way. Amen. Whether you feed them, whether you clothe them, whether it's a word of hope, a word of encouragement, tell somebody we just got to be about the master's business. Amen. The righteous considers the cause of the poor, uh, but the wicked regard it not to know it. Amen. In other words, uh, they 
Those who are wicked, rebellious against God and his wisdom can't understand such compassion for the poor. Amen. They, they have a, a problem with it. Why? Because even those resources, they probably saying, man, we, we could spend them somewhere else. And, and, and really they'll be saying, that's the way of them saying, we could spend that on our, on our sales. Shoot, you can spend that on me. Tell somebody, just be careful. <laughs> Amen. Be careful. Amen. If if we really pay attention, amen, uh, uh, tell somebody the wicked to give themselves away. Yes, they will. Amen. Simply by the things that they do. That's Proverbs 29th chapter, verse number 7. In Proverbs 29 and 8, it says, Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. Amen. Scornful men. Uh, 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 men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. One writer said, uh, as scornful men means scoffers. It's a scoffer set a city of flame. Glory. Have mercy. It said, in the family of fools, amen, uh, 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 Solomon saw the scoffer or the scornful men, uh, 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 he saw them as some of the worst offenders. Uh, they are also settled in their combative, cynical rejection of God and his wisdom that they may bring the judgment of God inferior man against their own city. Yeah, glory. I mean, isn't that something? Amen. Uh -huh. that, that you won't just bring it upon yourself, but you'll bring it upon what? Other people, innocent people. Amen. Glory. I mean, tell somebody, just, just be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of, of, of those that you hang around. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, it said, but wise men turn away wrath. Amen. What? Glory. Have mercy. Uh, that's one of the, the characteristics of, of being wise. We we know how to, to operate and move in and, and, and move amongst people. I, I, I put it like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. I meant to turn that off. Amen. Uh, but they the wise people know how to move in and amongst people amen they know how to uh keep down uh strife and and things like this simply because what they they, they want to be pleasing to god in every aspect but but a scornful man he, he doesn't want that amen everything is a is about them amen glory be to god so wise men turn away wrath the opposite of the of the scornful man or the or the scoffer amen Collectively, wise men have the understanding, the character, and righteousness that they may turn away even God's wrath. Mm. Why? Because they will direct the people in a way that what pleases God rather, in, rather than a way that what displeases God. Amen. So we, the children of God, ought to walk in the wisdom of God because it helps. Tell somebody, it helps everybody. It helps everybody. Glory. It'll, it'll, it'll help everybody. Amen. That's Proverbs. Amen. The the 29th chapter, verse number 8. In Proverbs 29 and 9, verse number 9, it said, If a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. Uh, this particular um, scripture or text is, is talking especially in, in the court of law. Amen. Glory to him. Mercy. Uh, if, they, if they had a, 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 a some kind of argument or dispute between the wise and the foolish, uh, they say likely this was in a court of law. He said, since the two have different foundations and principles, meaning the, the wise man and the foolish man have different foundations and principles for, for how they live. Amen. It isn't, it isn't a, it is not a surprise that they will what, contend against each other. Yeah. Why? It's, it's like righteousness against unrighteousness, good against bad, you know, the truth against untruth amen they they contend because the truth want to be told and the untruth want to be what told. told you know what i'm saying uh the, from the foolish and 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 the wise i mean the wise wants to walk in truth the foolish want to walk just in a kind of way you know what i'm saying so so they contend with one another so um the writer was saying this he said whether the fool rages or laughs there is no peace when two such people uh, contend, normally there will be no peace. The fool will respond with either anger or mocking, but neither would lead to peace. This should teach the wise man to be cautious about contending with the foolish man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes we, we, we take on arguments that we don't need to argue. 
Hey, glory, have mercy. If you, God, let me, how can I say this here, amen? Oftentimes we think we need to stand uh, 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 like we are defending God. Mm. But if you want to defend God, just simply live a life of, of righteousness and a life of, of holiness. Amen. Tell somebody, say, the word of God defends itself. It will defend itself. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. And watch Amen. it. Especially if you were living Liberty. it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, so that's 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 a thing to us. We don't have to go around, amen. Glory be glory be to God. We don't have to go around uh, uh having arguments with folks uh when it comes to the, the word of God, especially if they're not what walking in the word of God, especially if they haven't uh, claimed Jesus as Lord and Savior of their life. What why why glory hammers? Why argue with somebody whose heart hasn't been change why argue with somebody whose eyes haven't been enlightened why argue with somebody who has no relationship with god amen it's, you know you can say you got one but somebody say if it ain't bad no fruit oh glory oh glory let's, let's let's move on but but that was proverbs the 29th chapter verse uh number nine tell somebody don't contend with the fool amen oh just just live the life in christ Jesus. Amen. It, it'll speak for itself. Amen. Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 10. Ah, glory be to God. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. Amen. The blood, the bloodthirsty hate the blameless. Amen. Uh, uh, this is a fundamental opposition between bloodthirsty and the blameless. You know, it's like the truth in the in a lie. You know what I'm saying? It's like the light and dark is like righteousness and unrighteousness. It's like saved and unsaved. Hey, hey, glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, 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 um, the unmerciful, you know, <coughs> hates the merciful. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because the upright, amen, he's doing that which is, which is right. So the bloodthirsty doesn't like that because it goes against everything what he stands for. Amen. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. A simple way of, of saying it, uh, the devil don't like you. <laughs> Not if you serve God. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That just says a born again Christian, the devil doesn't like you. Why? Oh, because God. you stand for that which is right. And because you stand for that which is right, it goes against everything <coughs> what that he believes. So 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 don't get mad when the when the enemy calls you out. Hey, Amen. If he gonna call you out, you know, just be right. It, it kind of reminds me of what my daddy used to say about going to school. He said, if I gotta come to the school, just be right. <laughs> Amen. Glory. Hell mercy. When when it comes to the enemy, uh throwing accusations at you and, and talking about you and, and trying to destroy what you're doing, tell somebody say, just be right. In other words, just be walking in righteousness. Just be walking in holiness. Just be seeking God each and every day. Amen? Amen. Because the bloodthirsty hate the upright. You know what I'm saying? But the just seek his soul. Uh, the just seek his soul. What? The just seek the soul of what? The upright. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Because the upright is going to do the thing which is what? Uh, 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 pleasing unto God. It, it's going to carry out the, 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 the justice of of God. Amen. Don't you know that's why people come to you and want to know uh, what you think about things because they want a sense of what's right and, and wrong. Uh, tell somebody because when they're not really serving God, uh, uh, say things get a little cloudy. They Amen. they can't really see that clear. And they need somebody what with some perspective. Watch this. Uh, just not any kind of perspective, but tell somebody some, some godly perspective. Amen. Oh, oh, glory. Help me. That's what's going to make the difference. The difference. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. That's that's Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number 10. Amen. Amen. In Proverbs the 29th chapter, verse number 11, the writer said, A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Mm. Oh, glory. Have mercy. Amen. A fool vents all his feelings. <laughs> Why? Because he wants everybody to know how he feels. Amen. Why? Because it's all about him. Amen. It's all about how he feels. It's all about what's on his mind. And he wants to make sure that everybody know it because it's all about what? About him. It's all about the, the fool. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory. 
have mercy. It is the nature of a fool to think that everyone is interested in all his feelings and that he has some obligation to inflict all his feelings on others. Amen. Uh, this is a foolish offense to self-respect, self-restraint, and courtesy towards others. Somebody say, that's just the character of a fool. Yeah, it's, it's part of his character, amen. But but a wise man holds them back. Well, holds back his feelings simply because the wise man knows that there is a time and place to vent one's feelings. But one should never uh, imitate the fool in exposing all his feelings, amen. Glory, <laughs> have mercy. The writer of Kittner said this. He said the verb in this. And used in Psalms 89 and 9 of the stilling of a storm speaks of anger overcome, not merely checked. Oh, okay. Amen. Glory. So, so, so even a wise man, he don't just uh uh uh, uh put his his uh glory have mercy his he don't just he don't just uh uh put his anger in check, but he learns to over overcome it. Oh, Amen. Right. Glory. He, he learns to not get bothered to that point. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Trap said this. He said, or in an inner room in the bottom and bosom of his mind till he see a fit season as knowing well that all truths are not fit for all times, but discretion must be used. Oh, that's, that, 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 that's a wise that's man, a wise, a wise person. That, that's how he, he interacts. That's his character. Can I read that one more yes, time? Yes, yes. He said, or in an inner room, in the bottom and bosom of his mind, till he see fit a season as knowing well that all truths are not fit for all times, Jesus. but discretion must be used. Somebody say that that's that's a wise man. That, that that's a wise woman. That, they, 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 they know they don't they don't have to. You know, it's it's not prevalent for them to speak their mind all, all the, the time. time. Amen. Amen. Some it's things like need to be held until what oh, the proper time. Oh. To, somebody say the proper season. Hey, okay. hey glory so be to now. God. Amen. Glory. Hammers. Think about it. so many times we didn't get the the results that we were looking for when we spoke something. And the reason why we didn't get the results that we were looking for, because the thing we spoke was what? Out of season. Amen. Oh it, it wasn't time for it. Amen. But we had a pressing first lady. Amen. Mm. To speak our mind. We had a pressing uh, uh, for God them to know me. how we felt. Oh amen. God. And it's in that true. pressing, amen, glory, hell, mercy. Remember the Bible says a, a wise woman, a wise man, a wise soul will win what? Uh, 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 souls for the kingdom. Amen. And why? Because they know when to speak. They know how to speak. They know uh, what to speak. Uh oh, glory, have mercy. Amen. Let's go on to the next oh, verse. I'm, I'm getting happy in that verse right there. <laughs> hey, glory be to God. Yes, Amen. Yes. Yes, Amen. That was Proverbs, the, the 29th chapter, verse number 11. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till out the word. Somebody say, till due season, till, oh, till the time God. is right. Amen. Oh, glory. That's, that's Have good mercy. Word. Till the time is right. Right. Amen. That was Proverbs 29 and 11. In Proverbs 29 and 12, the Bible says, If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. Mm. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. In other words, if a ruler pays attention to lies, amen, anyone in authority will have many who want to use his or her power and position for their own advancement. Some of those may use lies to influence, frighten, manipulate, or simply deceive the ruler. Amen. Uh, the wise ruler pays no attention, what, to the lies. Amen. He, he can't run his kingdom, what, on lies. He can't run his campaign on lies. Hey, glory, have mercy. Uh, uh, it says all his servants become wicked. When the servants see that the ruler can be influenced by lies, it encourages them, what, to lie. <laughs> Deception is rewarded and, and telling the truth is what? Discouraged. The atmosphere around that ruler and his servants becomes poisonous and incompetent. 
Uh, that's why the ruler cannot pay attention to, to the lies. He must rule uh, like God would have him what? To rule. Amen. And matter of fact, if he rule like God wants him to rule, tell somebody, it'll run liars out. Oh, my God. You better say that, Pastor. <laughs> Amen. Glory. Uh, I, mean, I mean, because if a liar wants to lie, uh, he really needs somebody, what? To hear. Amen. But if a wise ruler, amen, glory, only deals in truth and pays the lies no attention, somebody say, then the lies will fall on what? Deaf ears. And, and if they fall on deaf ears, then the liar is going to go somewhere else, what? To get his lies heard. Uh oh, glory. <laughs> Hammer, tell somebody, yeah, just be wise. Just be wise. Oh, amen. Just and pay no right. attention to liars. Mm. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Pay attention to the truth. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. That was Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 12. Hmm. In Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 13, the writer says, The poor and the deceitful man meet together. Hmm. It said, The Lord light, lighteneth both there. their eyes. Hmm. Yeah. So there's something that the poor man and the deceitful man have in common. Amen. Amen. Yes, Glory. They, 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 they have something in common. Yes, and, and what is this thing that they have in common? That God is, is, is able to, to open both their, their eyes. God is, is able to enlighten whether you poor or whether you deceitful. He, he's able to enlighten. Amen. The problem is that one usually receives it and the other doesn't. Oh, glory. Help us. Amen. Glory be to God. It is difficult to think of two greater contrasts than a poor man and an oppressor, a deceitful man. But despite their differences, there is something that they do have in common. And that thing that they have in common is that the Lord gives light to the eyes of both. Amen. The writer here says, God gives some kind of light, some kind of revelation and creation and conscience to every person a coming, uh, 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 when it comes to well, to every person, if we looked in the book of Romans, we, we, we could find this. Amen. It said one may obey or reject God's message in that light, but God give lights to the eyes of both. Uh, if we looked at Romans, the first chapter in verse 18, the, it simply says this. It said, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. It said, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. It said, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. So they that are with so that they are without excuse. Mm. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Amen. Oh. So the fact of the matter remains that God, uh, even if we look at creation, God is giving you a little uh, uh, inkling of who he is. Amen. He, okay. he's, he's already, you know, then showed you a little light. Amen. You, you may choose not to to see it or, or, or follow it or acknowledge it. Amen. But the fact remains that if you really look, you can see, see it. it. Amen. Glory be to God. That's good. But That's according good. to this particular text, the poor and the deceitful man meet together. Amen. They, the, the Lord lightening both their eyes. Nobody can lighten your eyes, you know, like, like God. God. Amen. So, so he has the power to do it whether you're poor or if you're the oppressor. Amen. He still can do it. Amen. And, and even with that, amen, uh, uh, Romans is just simply saying that if you look around, you know what I'm saying, you, you could be enlightened just by looking at the fact of who God is and looking at his creation. But, but in Romans, it goes to, 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 to also talk about that they rejected that. Amen. And, and therefore, their vain imaginations took them to other places. Amen. Oh. But nevertheless, that was Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 13. Amen. In Proverbs 28 chapter verse number 14. Amen. The Bible says the king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. Amen. The king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. Part of the responsibility of the king or any leaders to make judgments and sometimes, excuse me, 
sometimes those regarding the poor and the disadvantaged. That king or leader must be careful to not show partiality against or for the poor, but to make judgment according to what? Truth. Amen. That, that's what God expected. And when, and when the king or any leader walks in the truth of God, amen, tell somebody it's better for everybody. everybody. Amen. amen. Because the truth of God shows no partiality. Amen. Oh. It, 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 it's the truth. Amen. It deals with the poor the same way it deals with what? The everybody wicked. else. It deals with the wicked the same way it deals with the righteous. Yeah. It deals with the ungodly the same way it deals with what? The godly. Yeah. The yeah. truth of God is simply the truth and it has no partiality when it comes to anybody. So therefore he's saying that if the king or a leader will just operate in truth. Amen. It'll do what it's supposed to do. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. It said, therefore, if the king that faithfully judges the poor, the king that faithfully deals with, with the poor in truth as he does with everybody else in truth, it said his throne shall be established forever. Amen. Tell somebody, it'll be some good stuff that happened for him. Amen. It said, uh, when it says his throne will be established forever, it said that the king who refuses to show partiality and judges the poor according to truth can expect to have a long reign. Amen. The reign will be blessed by God and received by the people. Amen. Tell somebody, say, when you do good uh, according to the word of God, amen. Glory to him. People will respect you. People will honor you. People will want you what? In, yeah. in charge. They'll want you to have the authority that you have simply because they know that you are doing things by truth. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. That was Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 14. Amen? In Proverbs, the 29th chapter, <laughs> verse number 15, the Bible says, the rod and the reproof give wisdom. The rod and rebuke the rod and reproof, the rod and instruction give wisdom. When it talks about reproof, talking about rebuke, talking about instruction. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Well, glory. Uh -oh, glory. Have mercy. Yeah, glory. Have mercy. <laughs> Tell somebody, say, we, we, we learn through correction. Yes, we do, Pastor. Amen. We, All we, right. We, 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 we learn through correction. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. And, and the thing about it is that some folks, amen, that, that, con that correction can come through rebuke. It can come through instruction, amen. But some folks, theirs come through the rod, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, instruction and, and rebuke just wasn't enough, amen. Some folks need <laughs> the rod. rod. Some folks just need a word. Some folks just need to be rebuked. Some folks just need instruction and direction. But some folks just need the rod. Amen. That, 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 that's what it's saying. Glory. <laughs> Have mercy. Amen. Glory. <laughs> uh, I like what the writer Bridges said about it. He said this. He said this one is the, is the order of God's government. He said parents are his dispersers of it to their children. He said let correction be first tried. And if it succeeds, let the rod be spared. Uh -huh. If not, let the rod do its work. <laughs> All right, <that's... laughs> that was the scholar Bridges Let said. The rod do his work. He, he said, "Discipline is the order of God's government. <laughs> Parents are his dispersers of it to their children." Uh -huh. He said, "Let correction be first tried, and if it succeeds, let the rod be spared." He said, "If not, let the rod do its work." Amen. <laughs> Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Glory be. To God. Amen. Oh, uh, Lord, help us today. Amen. Uh, the rod and reproof give, give wisdom. Amen. They, 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 they help us, amen, to be better than what we are. They, they help us to go uh, farther down the road. They help us to get to the so-called next um, point in our lives, the next phase in, in Christ Jesus. We have to learn how to receive rebuke, uh, receive instruction, receive direction. Amen. We must apply it to our lives. That's, that's where the wisdom comes in at. But, but also we need to understand that when, when, when reproof, when re rebuke, when instruction and direction doesn't work, God will lay a rod on you. Amen. Glory to heaven. <laughs> Tell somebody, say one way or the other. Amen. Way or the other. As a child of God, you're going to, to, to get it. Amen. Uh -huh. 
Amen. It says, but a child left to himself, bringing his mother to shame. Amen. Uh, when I read that verse, amen, I don't so much see the, the child, but I see the parent not doing their job. Amen. Uh, the only way the child is going to get uh, left uh, uh, to himself, amen, is that the child, is that the parent, what, leads, leads him to him himself, that the yeah. parent doesn't discipline the child, he doesn't instruct the all child, right, doesn't pastor. show the child the right way, and when all that doesn't work, he doesn't beat the child, hey, glory, amen, that what the rod talking about, he doesn't give him a, a whooping, he just lets the child go on, amen, and and so the Bible said, uh, uh, when a child is left to himself like that, that, that the child is what going to be it's going to bring shame. Uh, that shame is in the aspect that that child knows not how to what? Act. Amen. So when he acts a fool, it, it shows on the parent. Amen. Yes, so tell somebody the rod and the reproof give wisdom. Amen. Yes, Go ahead. It, it's up to us as the parent what to use those things that are available for us. The instruction, the rebuke, the direction. And, and when that doesn't work, amen, it's all right to whoop them. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Amen. It's all right to whoop them. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Uh, if you got a problem with, with whooping your child, with correcting your child with the rod of or, or, or correction, then you need to talk it over with God. Amen. God said it works. Amen. I, I'm just a witness that it does. Amen. amen. Glory. Have mercy. Because in my lifetime, I've had the rod. Amen. amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. And, and, and it worked. Yes, it did. Amen. Glory, have mercy. It would deter bad uh, behavior. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Yes, it will. Amen. Glory right be to God. Good. We about to go on. <laughs> Glory. Right yeah, man. Amen. Glory, have mercy. It's that the principle of the first line of this proverb is especially true regarding children. Amen. The rod and reproof give wisdom. Amen. Children who are never trained with loving correction often bring shame to their parents. Amen. That just... That's just the bottom line to it. Amen. Uh, glory. Have mercy. That. Amen. Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 15. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Last verse for tonight. Amen. Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 16. Amen. It says, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. Sin increases. Sin simply increases. Why? Because the wicked increases. Because the wicked going to do what they do, and that's be wicked, which is what? Sin. They're going to be evil, which is what? Sin. Amen. So if the wicked increase, then what? The things that they do must what? Increase the transgressions, the, the sins. Eh, yeah, glory be to God. But, but, but tell somebody, say, thank God. Amen. He won't leave it right there. Because God said, even in that, even when the wicked are multiplied and the, tr the transgressions, the, sin, the sins increase, he said, but the righteous sh shall see their fall. Now, tell somebody, say, it's only going to go so far. Amen. Amen. Before the hand of God what moves. Amen. So, so if you are around foolish stuff, things are going on and it don't look like it's going to change, tell somebody, say, a change is about to come. Amen. A change is on the way. Simply not because the pastor said it, but because the word of God said it. And the word of God said it right here. He said, but the righteous shall see their fall. Shall see who fall? The wicked fall. Amen. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression, transgression increases. But the righteous shall see their fall. Tell somebody to just keep trusting God. God would not allow them to triumph in the end, and they will fall simply because that's what the word of God said. Remember, God is backed by what? His, His word. word. So if He said it, it has, it will, it shall come to pass. Amen? Amen. That's Proverbs, the 29th chapter, verse number 16. That was our last verse for tonight. Amen. Glory to Hammers. Lord be willing. Amen. We shall uh, continue in the book of Proverbs next Tuesday. Amen. And hopefully we will finish the 29th chapter of Proverbs. Amen. Tell somebody, say, a book of wisdom but also a practical way by which we, the people of God, shall live. Amen. Tell them, say, just apply the word. Just apply the word.
it works. Amen. Glory. You know, it might run off a few critters in your life. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Have mercy. But it's the word of God. It it's true. It's tried. And it works. It Amen. Work. Amen. Amen. To God be to glory. Amen. Amen. Doing all right on time. Thank God. Amen. Well, uh, just a reminder, amen, people of God's Choice Church, amen, uh, 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 our event is coming up, uh, uh, our October the 9th event, amen, where we will be going to um, a soccer game, amen, yes, glory, amen. we're going to fellowship and commune together and, and have fun at the soccer game, we're looking forward to you being there, amen, first lady, are there any more tickets, or have they all been dispersed, they are all gone, oh, pastor. glory, have mercy, now, all, let me put it like this, all free tickets have been dispersed, <laughs> amen, they've been accounted for, amen, so if you didn't get in on this, amen, you still can go, amen, you, we, hey, we just going to hold you accountable for your old ticket, amen, because we had the tickets out there, we put it out there, amen, first come, first serve, amen, and if you didn't get your name in the hat, amen, tell somebody, I don't have nobody to blame but myself. Nobody but myself. Amen. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. But uh, to God be the glory. We thank God for you. We appreciate you. Amen. We pray that the word of God has truly blessed you tonight. Amen. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a minute or two. If you got any requests, uh, First Lady Vengeance Watson is online. If you send any requests, we'll make sure that we get it on the prayer list. We'll make sure that we keep praying for you and with you. Amen. And I thank God that he is a, a mighty good God. Amen. And for those who are listening tonight, Poxy, I want you to know, amen, that we did get a, a word from the, the county today that all our review papers have been approved. Amen. Glory. They have passed all the tests. Amen. So now we're just waiting. Somebody said we're waiting on the permit. Amen. amen. And the way you get the permit is you got to give them a little a little cash, a little money, a little a little something, something, a little change, amen. So as soon as they ask for the change, amen, I'm going to be quick to pay this. Amen, so that we can move forward on, on, on getting the land uh, cleared, amen. Glory and mercy. Somebody say, God will do it, amen. Amen, amen. Just, just, just be patient and, and stay with God, amen. He will continue to move for us and in our lives. Amen. I'm, I'm a believer in it. Amen. I've seen him do it time and time again. Amen. And, and, and I look forward to continue to seeing him do just that move on our behalf. Amen. Amen. Well, first lady, was there anything tonight? I don't have any, Pastor. Amen. I would just say that we would like to just continue to pray for all of the saints. Amen. 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 Continue to pray for all the saints. Uh, for, for, uh, pray for your pastor. Amen. Uh, uh, for guidance in the word of God. That we'll, we'll stick to our guns in, in serving God. Amen. Uh, pray for the body of Christ. Pray for those that are in authority above us. Amen. Pray for your government officials. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. Pray for your families. Amen. Pray for your children. Amen. Pray for your jobs. Amen. Pray for the folk on your job. Amen. Somebody said, just pray. pray. That's all. Just pray. Amen. Glory. Amen. You can't expect God to make a change if you ain't asking for one. Ooh. Amen. Glory, have mercy. Um, uh, I know God know everything, but but the one thing I do also know about God is that He He, he expects for you to act. Yes. Amen. Glory, amen. He don't want you taking Him for granted. He don't want you taking what He do for granted. Amen. Tell somebody say acts. Amen. Uh, watch this. Uh, acts in faith. Amen. Uh, believing that what well, He not only will, but that He can. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, if there's nothing else, amen, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight. I pray that the word of God has truly blessed you. Amen. Uh, know that um, Proverbs is a practical way of living. Just, just try some of the things we've been talking about. Amen. And then watch it work. Amen. Don't, look here, don't, don't, don't watch the, uh, when folk get mad at you. Just watch the fact that the word of God, what? Did work. Amen. If they get mad, just say, uh, we cover that in Proverbs. Amen. Look, the way they acting, they, I think that was in the 26th chapter. Amen. It, it's showing up right, because when you do that, that's how they really act. I'm telling you, the word of God works. We just have to apply it. Amen. If you want your life truly to be blessed and enriched, amen, the word of God will do it, but it would only do it if you take heed to it and apply the things of God to your lives. Amen? Amen. Well, if there's nothing else tonight, amen, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God, for truly being wonderful, kind, and amazing unto us. 
We thank you, God, for this time of fellowship, communion with one another, God, uh, but most of all, communion uh, in your word, God, communion with God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, that your word is true and that it is changing our lives. We ask now, God, as we prepare to leave from this gathering, that we never leave from your presence. God, go in and speak for us, through us, and on our behalf. And may everything we do, God, uh, be out of your spirit because it comes from your word. Let us be found to be obedient children, walking in the word of God. We thank you for strength today, God. We thank you for guidance. We thank you for instruction. We thank you for direction, God. May we truly be found to be the people that you've called us to be. We thank you for all the things that you've done for us, all the things that you're willing to do, and all the things that you're going to do. We bless your name right now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you for the gift of your spirit. To your name be all glory, all honor, and all praise. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray this prayer, that the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. Well, saints, we thank you for tuning in tonight. It's been an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to share with you the word of God. We pray that it has truly blessed you. And as always, as we leave you tonight, as always, be thankful, be blessed, and be blessed.